morning. Well, this night it rained again, of course it did. Um, and but now it's again really humid. It's hot. I don't know if the temperature will stop at 28 degrees as the forecast tells. Um, and uh, well, so I will hike as long as it's good and then we will see where we where we will end up. The problem is a little bit that the next 30 kilometer stair is no camping site so we will see how long we we hike. They promise ice cream specialties. Well, I left Wachau and I hadn't got a Marille ice cream, which is really a shame. And uh, probably they have got something and it's only eight kilometers away. And if I have done those eight kilometers, I hiked already um, 23 kilometers. I think I deserve a ice cream. The bike line looks like that since a couple of kilometers and I must admit I walked many bike lines along rivers and this one is really the most boring one. It was just very nice in the Wachau but that's it. I really cannot recommend it. I had to eat something, otherwise I would collapse. Because yesterday I had eaten just a little breakfast and in the evening just one sausage. And, uh, yeah, and today I really had to eat. But now I'm really tired. I could close my eyes and sleeping and telling my body he just should hike in autopilot modus. Uh, I will see how long I will hike today because the camping site is still 14 kilometers away and I already hiked 25 kilometers so it's really far. Here are enough spots I could sleep but without shadow it's like being on a display. I will see. Little Mario has hot feet. Seven kilometers are left. I'm so tired, <laughs> but at the other side, I'm I'm hoping for a cold shower. And I have drunk in so far five liter of waters, and soon the water, or soon I'm running out of water. So I really should get to the camping site. Ten kilometers ago, there was a sign for this restaurant and drinks that it would be just nine kilometers. The last sign told four kilometers ago that it would be only three kilometers to the restaurant. Now I hiked four and a half kilometers and there was nothing at all. <coughs> and I feel really screwed. That's a pain in the ass. A bike rider probably doesn't feel if it's three or four kilometers. But I feel every meter. Well, the biker 
restaurant. It came after five and a half kilometers. And the sign told it's just three kilometers. I really hate it. If you have got just false information and uh, it's, I really can't stand this. Now the sign <laughs> told me 1.9 kilometer to the camping site. I hope this is true. Well, I arrived at the camping site. There's a school class. They sing in German Schlager and Tom Odell and I'm not sure if they will become the next big boy band. Oh, the youth, they are better, better as their reputation. I'm really surprised because all of a sudden half of the class was standing here. They were really very interested and then <laughs> they, they, they took their 10 cent coins together and uh, donated them and they were really nice and very interested and uh, also the teachers with them and that's really cool uh, because in Germany and in Austria suicide among uh, young people between 14 and 25 is this the second highest or is the second cause of death uh, Imagine the second cause of death there yeah, after, I think, diseases like cancers or, or, or something like this. Uh, I don't know exactly what's on, on um, what, uh, which is the first cause of death. Um, so it's really important yeah, to talk to young people and I really hope that um, a school will give me once the possibility to uh, to talk with them uh, because uh, they should know that the first love trauma could be could become a killer yeah. and um, and from our association we are working on a school program and to give workshops uh, to, uh, to to teach all those things let's see when we can do it.